friends and welcome to Decorate Your Life. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a couple of friendship umbrellas that I've created for a couple of wonderful crafting ladies right here on YouTube. It's for Shaniqua and Tina. Tina and Shaniqua are two absolutely marvelous, wonderful ladies. Their videos are about fun, sharing, and caring. They they do live videos together and if you ever catch a live feed i highly recommend that you go in and watch even if you can for only five minutes just go in and watch i mean these ladies are fun they keep it real and it's all about crafting so this is my way my small way of saying thank you for bringing so much love to the crafting community and to let these ladies know just how much I appreciate them. Now, Lala, Lala's creation, it's actually Shaniqua loves purple. And ladies, you know how difficult it is to get purple paper, pretty purple paper out there. They, the manufacturers just don't make any. I don't know why. It's such a sought out color. Well, anyways, I... A while back, I purchased the Designs by Shelly collection in purple, and this one is called Tranquil Gardens. But before I go into this collection to show you what the papers are, I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick the friendship umbrella that I made for Shaniqua. And Shaniqua loves purple. So I used the Designs by Shelly paper collection to make this one and by the way her friendship umbrella is standing on one of these wooden hearts that I got at Michael's for a song and a dance so long ago I'm talking at least six months to a year ago and they are serving real well as a stand now I'm not really good at making the rosettes. They take me much too long and I prefer to use the dies. So let me show you what dies I'm using for the handles of my friendship umbrella. I'm using the Spellbinders, oops, Parisian Motifs die and I'm using this one for the bigger, um, what you might call it, circle. And this Spellbinders die is S5-035, and for the smaller one, I used a smaller die. It is not a Spellbinders die. This is one of those dies that I picked up at Michael's. It comes from, I, I don't even know the name of this collection, but this is that circle die that I used here. Uh, this die over here comes from this Spellbinders die collection, Blooms 3, style number S2-046. And these gorgeous, gorgeous leaves are from the Heartfelt Creations Berry Blossoms, style number HCD1-793. And over here, not only do you get the little leaf flourishes, but you also get um, different sizes of the flower dies. And I combined both the Spellbinders and the Heartfelt Creation dies to make these flowers over here. And of course, you've heard me talk about this die before. By far, this is my favorite, most favorite Spellbinders die which is the Outrageous Butterfly, and it is style number S2-069. Now, let me see any other dies that I used. Oh, yes, but that I will show you that in the other Friendship Umbrella. So I used items for my stash. This was gifted to me by Sue from um, Miss Martini Girl 1. It's beautiful lace, isn't it? And these are just, you know, those spool laces that you get at Hobby Lobby. That's what this is from. And let me put this down so I can show you the paper that I used in this friendship umbrella. This is how deep it is. 
I hope you're able to tell just how much stuff you'll be able to put in this friendship umbrella. And I do have a video where I explain how I do this. And I guess I'll go ahead and link that video up there. And I will link the channels to these two ladies so that you can check them out and subscribe to them. And I'll link it up there and also down below. And I will now show you the designs by Shelly Tranquil Gardens collection. She sells these out of her website, JNS Hobbies and Crafts, and I guess I'll go ahead and link that down below too. These are just beautiful, beautiful purple papers. And what I like about this collection is that Shelly used subdued colors. It's not like a loud purple. She, um, it's very romantic, very, very romantic. This is the one that I used for the front of Shaniqua's. And this is what the back looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. And you get two of each. And of course, they are acid free. Just put that there. And what I like about Shelly's collections is that she gives you plenty of paper to work with. You get 24 sheets, I believe, two of each design. And to the back, you get tons of tags and things that you could use and sentiments and everything. She She's no longer doing designs by Shelly so that she can focus on other things. But she still has some of this paper left. And look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And like I said, I will link her shop, the link to her, to this paper collection and her other collections so that you can go ahead and check them out. See, she gives you sentiments to work with. That way you can make embellishments. This is absolutely beautiful. It's just stunning. Show you this one. See that? Isn't that gorgeous? I just love her combination of purple and and green. This is more of a darker Victorian feel to it. But if you don't like to use the darker side, look at this beautiful, beautiful green. And here's some of those tags that I was talking about. Aren't they gorgeous? Just look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. You can make cards. You can make friendship umbrellas. You can make, let's see, this is more of the same. You can make pretty much anything you want. Get you a couple of these and you can make yourself a very nice mini album. I say a couple of these because I go through paper like crazy when I make a mini album. Oh gosh, look at this one. Look at that. And here's what the back looks like. And there's more ladies. <laughs> See that? Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. I hope the camera is catching the wonderful colors that Shelly used in this collection. Look at that, just gorgeous. And look at these tags, ready-made tags for you. I love that, I love, love, love that. Let's see, I've already shown this one, and I believe I've shown this one, and I don't think I've shown this one. <laughs> look at that, and you get this in the back. Isn't that gorgeous? You can use it vertically like you can use it horizontally. And did I show you this one already? Yes, I did. And I, oh, I haven't shown you this one. Just look at the beauty of this paper. Look at that. 
Oh, I just love it. Look at that. That's just beautiful. And I don't think I've shown you this one. Is this one? Gorgeous, isn't it? Look at this. This makes a beautiful backdrop for a picture. And this is the back. Beautiful paper, uh, purple back. Let's see, I just showed you this one and I believe I showed you this one and I did show you this one. Yep, I showed you this one. I think I, be, uh, yeah, I showed you each and every single one of those. So that's the paper that I used. And I do know that she has several in stock still. So you may want to pay her a visit and get yourself one or two paper pads. I know that I'm going back to get me some more. Because once they're gone, they are gone. <laughs> so that was Shaniqua's Friendship Umbrella. And Tina, Tina loves blue. Now, the blue that she loves is this vibrant blue. Okay, see that jewel tone vibrant blue? But it's hard to find paper in that shade of blue. So what I did, I, I improvised, okay? I improvised. First of all, her friendship umbrella is, I, I found this blue in this collection, and I know that these are no longer available. I got this Jolique's Boutique paper pad called the Parisian Collection. I bought this at Joann's when it was on clearance for like five or six bucks. It's a 12 by 12 double-sided collection, and it's very, very beautiful. It lends itself to a lot of Parisian and blue projects. And like I said, I don't know if you'll be able to find it anymore, but if you come across it, you can get it for a song and a dance. And it's a very nice paper. The only thing is, is that it's not so thick, which can be a good thing. I mean, it's double-sided, good quality cardstock. It's just not as thick as you, you would like it to be for some projects, but it's okay. It's still okay. So I used this collection on Tina's Friendship Umbrella, and I wanted to try something new. I wanted to make my own flowers. And let me tell you, for my flowers, for these flowers, I used the Sizzix Alterations die, the Tatted Florals die, and the style number is 556640. And what I did was I cut several of these and several of these, okay? And what I did, what I used was vellum paper. I bought this vellum pack at Hobby Lobby months ago when it was half off. I got 10 sheets for two bucks, okay? Because it was half off. And this was the first time that I was able to break into it and experiment because I wanted to make some vellum flowers. And I thought that vellum would be great because then I can go ahead and shade in the color that I wanted to. So what I did was I cut three of these and three of these. And then when I glue them, I staggered them. I didn't put them all the same, but I staggered like so and like so. So they would give that, uh, they, they would give that, volume how do you call it uh, <laughs> I forget but you know what I'm talking about so I glued these three together and then I glued the other three together and I left this little one just the regular vellum uh, color and what I did was I scrunched them okay and this one came from that dye that I showed you earlier that Heartfelt Creations die, the little flowers, because they have little flowers and they have the big flowers. So I cut me one of the little flowers, a few of the little flowers, I put them here. I used these um, flat back pearls from here. I had a 60% off coupon and for Michaels and I was able to get these for $4 and change. That was tax included, ladies. 
this is the biggest bang for my buck that I have seen in a very, very long time. These right here were made using this. As you can see, there's only one size, but you stagger them. I cut, I think I cut something like three or one, two, three. One, two, three. Yes, I cut three of them and then I staggered them and I scrunched them together and it made this uh, flower bud right here. And this is from the Heartfelt Creations. And I made her a pin since I had that tone that she loves. I made her a stick pin and I just stuck it in there. We have some, some of these, some of these flourishes, pearl flourishes. And I got my hands on some of these color flowers color blue color flowers that she loves and i use the same spellbinders die over here for the handle i cut me a circle of um actually not a circle half a circle of some trim that i had and then i glue them together to make a circle then i added this circle here then i added this die here and it also stands in one of those wooden heart stands. So that's my project share for today. I hope that the, this gives you some ideas on what you can do with your friendship umbrellas and your dyes. And I hope that Shaniqua and Tina like these. And um, yeah, I got to get them mailed out soon sometime this week. And please visit those ladies and sub to their channels and just let them know that Sandy sent you, okay? Let's support one another. Thank you so very much for watching. I'll see y'all again real soon. Bye.